Hello my dear viewers, welcome to this reading. This reading is for all Scorpions and it is for August onwards 2024. It is all about your money, your finance, your work, your career, everything you need to know in regard to your work, career and money and finance. Everything is going to be um, looked at. Hidden matters are coming to light. Things that are important for you to know my dear Scorpio. Everything is going to be here for August and a little bit over. So let me begin by welcoming each and every one of you and let's start with the first message first message is going to be two we're going to take two cards two messages for all scorpio august money work career and it says just a little bit of patience and you'll see that things are going to get better for you there's a lot of success coming and you are going to overcome a challenge i just got to put my glasses on to see this number yes you are going to overcome a major challenge and a new beginning is going to transcend you to a higher level. So there's a little bit left, a little bit of patience. August onwards, remember that. Okay, it's going into September. I feel like the challenge will be completed by September. One more message for all Scorpios, August onwards. And it says playfulness. You are going to have fun. You'll be doing a job that you really love. Um, working with um, passion. A lot of changes are coming to support you, uplift you to have a lot of um, happiness in where you're working. A lot of healing. You may be healing, healing a lot of people, actually, because I see a lot of people around you. Um, it looks like changes are going to be taking you to the next level. And this next level, you're going to have a lot of fun with it. So, you know, whatever job you're getting, you're getting a job that you love. You're doing something that you love. You're looking into a career, maybe something that you really love and, and you enjoy. Let's take two important messages for all Scorpio, August onwards. Let's have a look. One cut only, the truth. And we've got, wow, what is this? Uh, the solar plexus. Sorry, I'll, I'll just take this out. This is not supposed to be part of this. Bear with me. I'm going to cut them twice. So the first message for all Scorpio. There we go. And we've got the world. The universe is, about, is the card of the world, which is a tarot card. The world shows that there is a chapter of your life ending and you are going to be transcended to high levels where you will be rewarded, where you'll be having rest, where you'll have a lot of money coming to you, abundance, living in abundance and living, of, um, living happy, extremely happy. So we'll take one more. All Scorpio, August onwards, money, work, career. And we've got the two of wands, and that shows there are decisions to be made about movement. Somebody might be moving, it could be yourself, it could be someone in your family, in your home, in your work. There is, um, There are decisions to be made, choices to be made. Now, in some cases, it could be you making decisions as, as to where to work or whether to stay where you are or to move somewhere else. You're looking at all your options and weighing all your options. So that's quite interesting. Now, let's move on to... Four important messages from all the tarot. Further, we'll see what else you need to know, my dear Scorpio. And we have the Empress. This shows that the heavenly um, bodies, your guiding angels, the universe is watching over you. You are going to be quite protected, nurtured, and abundance in different areas of your life is coming. So this, together with the world, it just shows there is just so much magnificence coming in your world. Especially after one challenge ends, just... There is just, the blessings are just going to be pouring in um, endlessly. So that's incredible to know. The next one we have the Ace of Cups, the greatest gift from the heavens. This could be something so wonderful that you feel fulfilled in every way, in every part of your life. And it's amazing because um, when, you got, when you get the Empress, it's like abundance in every area. And then the Ace of Cups, it's every area of your life you'll feel fulfilled. So this new job that you're doing, new career, whatever you are in need to be patient of until you get there, it's going to be spectacular. Wow. Two more messages. Okay, there is the end. An end of something that was karmic, that was taking a lot of out of your energy, or was just giving you sleepless nights and worry. This is coming to an end. Absolutely. Ending. And then, look at that, the Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Wealth, living a life of wealth, a life of lots of money, heaps of money, nothing to worry ab about, um, no cares and no, no worries at all, financial freedom and a life of leisure and not needing to work. So something major and big is happening in your life, my dear Scorpio, that you're reaching to this level. So that is wonderful to know. Now, um, I will take on two more 
messages perhaps let me just see one two four five six yes um, i'll take three more three more messages from this deck for all scorpio and we've got the empress how beautiful this repeated so um glorious about uh, abundance nurturing um, power of protection and and being blessed with abundance in many areas of your life work career money everything with the empress twice so that shows big time that you are going to be supported the next one shows oh my god i love it when they repeat because it just shows you that uh, when it's repeat that intensifies that message in particular so the abundance one it was intensified and so was this ending karmic ending something is ending completely and utterly ending wow and th that's an ending too with uh, a cycle ends completely and you start getting a lot of rewards with the world and finally one more wow we have the nine of pentacles and now we've got the nine of cups and the nine of cups is the wish card where you get your wishes and your desires manifesting right before your eyes so that could be part of you reaching to this level of money have a look at your money uh, your sorry this is your money really have a look at the community section of aul just click on it aul where you're watching this video and go into the community and um, you'll see there's lucky numbers a post that i've put there just go into that grab your lotto numbers start playing the lotto i feel like something big is happening with all this abundance you could win big time it looks to me like there could be a great victory the greatest gift from the heavens the ace of cups um, i really feel like um something major is happening in your life so play the lotto or the lottery if you want the lotto numbers there's lucky numbers there for you to choose under scorpio you go on under lucky when you go open the post lucky numbers you'll see all the signs with three batches that were given take those batches and play them five ten dollars every month as long as you're doing it every month i feel like something big is coming with all these blessings coming your way um i feel like your life is transcending and if, if you don't feel like playing the lotto just buy one lottery ticket that's all you don't have to do much so yes you are destined for a lot of happiness for a lot of abundance maybe that's why you're able to move you're able to do what you want that's incredible there is going to be um some news coming your way and you need to take advantage of a situation an opportunity and um the ability to resolve a problem with the news or the information is coming to you now i'm going to take three i'll just put the empress over here for a moment take three more messages for all scorpio we've got the first one which is the turtle we need two more we have the moon and the other one is the light bulb okay so let's see what they're all about okay we'll start with i'll put the turtle over here and the light bulb okay so we'll start with the moon and the moon is all about fleeing funds there's something you're doing money is going you don't know where there's unknown source where money is fleeing perhaps there is an unknown source where you're questioning uh, but you are going to be guided you are going to be guided as to what the best course of action is in regard to fleeing funds or unknown source where the money is going it looks to me like some of you could be doing part-time work or odd jobs here and there night shift uh you know in regard to korea there's also hidden matters with the moon that are going to be revealed now with the um the turtle it shows money is coming in slowly but steady progress is going on well some of you could be moving for work that's why i was saying that there's a chance that you are moving some of you will be considering a, a position where you will need to move maybe for the job or something like that or for a business it could be but um not everybody this is just for some of you moving is showing that it's possible moving for work but in good time you'll understand this is all about long term and you'll be doing well now talking about long term and doing well and perhaps moving the light bulb is about lucrative ideas that will come to you new income source so there is going to be a new source of income that is going to be very inspiring and uplifting some of you could be your own doing your own business as entrepreneurship here doing your own business being your own boss it could be a new job of very creative work but a great idea is going to come to you let's have a look at two messages from um the animal spirits let's see what is the what are some guidance or advice that you need to know right so we've got the elephant which is learning from the past and a spiritual journey that you are going to have your freedom it also shows freedom you are going to have your freedom very soon and that look where i put that right at the ending the ending of something that was very hard and suffocating reclaiming your power finally you will be able to have your power and a lot of success is coming as you reclaim your power so that's that one 
Now I'm going to take two messages from this deck before I start clarifying everything. So my dear Scorpio, wow. As soon as I say Scorpio and August onwards, World Korea money. And there's the other one. Oh, yeah, and the other two. Okay. Let me put my glasses on and see what they're saying. So we got the first one, which is finding sanctuary, opening your heart to spiritual source, finding happiness, peace, and harmony. So whatever that was overwhelming you, coming to an end, you are going to find a lot of peace and a lot of harmony. The vast vistas is all about expanding your horizon, horizon looking at the bigger picture, um, becoming more flexible, seeing all the possibilities, just like the two of wands, there could be a chance where you could be considering working, moving, expanding your business buying uh, in, a in a bit of a distance where you know you might get it a little bit cheaper if you bought your business else elsewhere from you know where the action is like there's a lot to consider and opening your mind to all kinds of opportunities and possibilities grace you are in grace and gratitude for all that's coming your way through gratitude joy expands through gratitude joy expands so gratitude and grace being protected and in gratitude for all the blessings that are coming in your life so that is truly magnificent. We're going to take two messages from this deck and see if there's anything you need to know, any other guidance or important factors for all Scorpio to be aware of. August onwards, money, work, career. Oh, there we go. We got one, which I don't like, the fox. Right, the fox is... You have to be very careful when the fox comes in the reading. It shows that there could be someone... Okay, in some cases, the majority of cases, um, something isn't right when the fox appears in the reading. It's about deceit. There could be deception. And that's where the moon comes along. With the moon, unknown matters are coming to light. Uh, the fox is about deception, Some someone not being honest. There could be someone that's... Um, something is wrong in something. There could be some cunningness going on some sort of like selfish interest someone doing something and you think they're doing it for you for your sake but they're not really they're being very selfish you've just got to be very careful the moon is going to illuminate the facts for you and um, show you what's going to happen i feel like september a lot of changes are going to take place in september so september is there very strong and um this could be connected to people that have uh virgo for those of you who have virgo or or um or libra in you uh, connected to the Chinese ear of the rat, Chinese ear of the cat, rabbit, Chinese ear of the dragon. There's someone crafty, some, doing something, something sly, something isn't right. So just pay attention to this one. And then we've got the moose. The moose is all about um, time alone, um, changing your attitude or, you know, making sure that, not making sure, sorry, changing your attitude, becoming very calm, cool and collective. And I feel your confidence is rising, being uh, in, in solidarity, like being sort of um, in a hermit mode is going to get you connected to the high levels and in spirituality. And you are becoming very, very um, independent and not independent, but your vibrations are heightening to the point where you're becoming very powerful and ultimately independent and you're becoming calm and cool. Um, attitude is everything and you've got it. My dear Scorpio, you've got the best attitude here. It looks to me like um, some major obstacle. It is being removed from your life, which is really wonderful. That's going to help you ease. The letter A um, could be uh, an initial of someone that you are dealing with. Uh, people, again, that have Virgo or um, Libra. We've got number nine, Chinese year of the monkey twice. But September, out of everything else, it's September. September is big and it's major for you. Some major transitions are taking place which are eliminating something that's very hard and bringing on um, a new way of life and a lot of grace and a lot of gratitude for what's coming so money power which has come true and perhaps for some of your relocation okay the nine of cups keeps showing itself over and over this is a nine of cups that i was showing you before wishes and dreams come true just so you know but I'm not taking it because I'm shuffling. Now, I'm going to put the intention on. Um, before I do the Empress, I want to do what is ending. The Ten of Swords. And look at that. <laughs> what is ending. Something that needs to be removed from your life. That has no more foundation. It can't grow. You've got to move away from this. So let's see what it is. I'll shuffle again. Ten of Swords. The truth for all Scorpio. Wow. You are destined for a life of wealth and luxury. I feel that very strong and I feel like someone might be advising you, someone might be supporting you, giving you the gift of money, someone of air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, somebody could be leaving, 
leaving your life it's also a puzzle because we're talking about the ten of swords but someone uh, you know someone advising you of what what the best cause of action is someone of air energy i feel like you are destined for a lot of happiness uh, you're destined for a lot of abundance i feel like the gift is going to give you absolute power to live the life of luxury that you truly deserve and that's why you are going to be in grace and gratitude that will explain this because yes you are going to be in grace and gratitude with the nine of pentacles a life of wealth and abundance a life of leisure where you don't have to work so much there won't be so much work so that's going to help you big time and put you in a very high level of happiness peace abundance and gratitude all in one so that's uh, magnificent okay now um um back to where we were okay so this was in regard to oh yes this is the one in regard to the ten of all the ending could be connected to someone of air energy aquarius gemini libra have a look at your general reading and you'll know exactly who this person is this air energy again and again have a look at that isn't that amazing i keep seeing this now we're doing this so you know the ten of swords the ending of a major chapter and i saw it again here when I asked about it and we got the answers, I saw it again. Now, this could be in connection to someone of air energy. Somebody could be having an uh, ending or leaving. It could be a very rare case, passing of someone, but that's very rare. Let's not go there. Let's go to the Empress, the great news and abundance coming your way and being nurtured and protected. Twice you got the Empress. Let's see for all Scorpio. Right, in an area where you are defeated, there's no win-win situation. Every attempt fails. It, you feel like you won. Everything is okay, but then it fails again. This is coming to an end. You're transcending. You're using your wisdom and doing what is right and moving forward. Committing to doing the right thing and moving forward. And that's going to bring you a lot of happiness. Something is collapsing. Something is ending. Something, someone is being removed from your life. It's amazing. And that is going to grant you a wish also at the same time. There is a wish being granted at the time of this removal. Whether well, it's a situation that's being removed again and again. The ten of... This is really big, my dear Scorpio. It keeps coming. It keeps showing that there is a major karmic ending. Something really big is happening here. Big ending. Right, let's move on to the next level, which is... I think I missed some. Oh, yeah, the Empress we did because it was double. Then the Ten we did. Is there anything else that was left here that I didn't do? The Nine of Pentacles I'm going to talk about when we do here. All right, that's it. Now let's have a look at the Nine of Pentacles, living a life of wealth and luxury for all Scorpios. The Wheel of Destiny is giving you the greatest gift of all. Now this is a, could be a windfall. This is very, very possible for it to be a windfall. A new beginning that gives you absolute fulfillment, happiness in every area of your life. In every area. And that, my dear Scorpio, really shows that something major and big is happening. I feel like it's going to be a reward for an ending. After an ending or a time, of, a time where an ending is taking place, there's abundance coming your way. And there could be a windfall. Extreme luck, the Wheel of Fortune. And the greatest gift from the heavens could be a windfall or a great gift of money that's leaving you in a position where you can do so much and live a life of luxury and not need to work so much. Really a life of luxury, a life of abundance, my dear Scorpio. This is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Wow. Tremendous. Oof. Let me put that there. Yeah, this is amazing. So, this was all in regard to this, actually, to the Nine of Pentacles, and that's what we got. We got the Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of Luck and Abundance and Destiny, and the Ace of Cups repeated. So now I'm going to move on, and there it is. A lot of money. You are going to be so empowered, and being able to help others, doing charities, but when, at a time where you're grieving the loss of something, which was that ending, an ending, a dead end, it is at that time. So the ending is being shown um, to do with um, timing. It is timing. After this ending, all this happiness and life of luxury and wealth comes. Let's have a look at the Ace of Cups. What will the Ace of Cups do for all Scorpio? You are going to be um, given an opportunity. A beautiful opportunity is coming your way. 
I also feel like it's coming at a time where you're feeling unhappy, tired, dissatisfied, dissatisfied emotionally. You're not happy. Maybe you're very tired or, or, or disappointed. What a time where you're disappointed. This is coming. A new beginning that gives you a great opportunity. Maybe you're disappointed because there is something that's sort of... Um, you may be overworked or you've taken on too many responsibilities and you're suffocating. You can't breathe. You're, you're just too tired and, and you need to rest. And I feel it's that that's coming to help you. It could be someone also. There's someone of Earth energy here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. My dear Scorpio, someone that's going to be very supportive. Have a look at your general reading and at the end of it, see what are the star signs that are coming and their combination and see which earth energy this is. Is it Virgo? Is it Taurus? Is it Capricorn? Because this person is someone you can rely on and someone very helpful. And earth energy is the best for you. It's a wonderful, um, someone wonderful for you to support you in different ways in your life. So have a look at that. If you're a general reading, you'll understand what's going on. Finally, uh, there's no, two more. Um, I've got to do the Nine of Cups, your wishes and dreams coming true. For all Scorpio, wow, look at this, it's incredible. Again, the Ten of Swords came, like for the fifth time today. And look at that, the Nine of Swords, something that you've been feeling guilty, you've had sleepless nights, anxiety about, worried about, that's coming to an end, that's what's coming to an end. So that you know what it is coming to an end. What's ending is something you've been so worried about, so stressed about. Look at that, that's what's ending. I've never seen this, never to this degree. Well, maybe once in a lifetime, but it's something we hardly ever see. Three tens of swords and the nine of swords. Like This is something that's been overwhelming you. And I saw the ten of wands suffocating you. So you've really been worried about something or someone. And I feel like this someone, this person, I really feel this person could be someone that's got air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Or they could also be... I see air energy more than anything else. Air, yeah, air energy. Um, I just feel like this is something like that will release. You'll you'll be released. There's tears. This you know you'll be released from this. So wow, that's part of your wishes. Like your wish, even at the time you're grieving. This could be the grieving of loss of someone. Somebody could be passing. While you're grieving the loss, all your wishes are coming. Because I asked about the wish card, the nine of cups. When will your wishes come true? How will they come true? And that's what they're saying. When you're grieving the loss of something, ending, a dead end. And, wow, just bear with me, my dear viewers. My dear Scorpio. One moment. The heat is drying my throat up. Okay. So yes, that's what's happening. All your wishes are being granted and manifesting at a time where this ending is taking place. So now what we're going to do is, uh, and, and that's when you are really changing and um, becoming more confident, more strong after this ending. So it was something that was challenging you. Let's have a look at the two. The two of wands, where you're moving, where you're thinking of expanding. For all Scorpio, the two of wands, maybe someone awful in your life. Um, that's been really hard on you, um, is leaving someone controlling perhaps, someone codependent on you. But there is one last challenge and it'll be over. This codependency, this excessiveness, something too much is ending. It's been taking a lot out of you, a lot of your energy, uh, feeling confined, feeling restricted, feeling unhappy, feeling anxiety, worried, concerned, disappointed, all of that. One more challenge and it's going to be absolutely over. You have nothing to worry about. It's coming to an end. And you'll overcome the challenge with a great victory. This is a great victory. And you're finally resting from this. See, again, the collapse. Someone is being removed from your life. It's either some situation or someone being removed completely. And you are going to conquer the situation. You are going to be quite victorious and finally have the right to rest from a big battle that you've been ongoing. It's, it was a part of your destiny, part of a chapter of your life you had to deal with. That's why the empresses are here to give you um, nurturing, powerful happiness, money, just for you to rest and live a life of comfort because you've overwhelmed yourself too much by doing too much in a very hectic um mission perhaps you know part of your life was part of your life's mission was to deal with someone maybe very difficult 
So that, that explains that. Is there anything else? The sun is going to be shining in your path and things are going to be going wonderful for you. And that is the end of your reading. I hope you enjoyed it, my dear Scorpio. I wish you abundance of blessings and a lot of love and light. Before I leave, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the reading, if you could, re if it resonates with you, either one. Um, and do let me know what you think. And please watch the video all the way to the end and support me and subscribe to the channel if you haven't and support me. It doesn't cost anything. A few seconds of your time just clicking. And that's all you need to do. I wish you all the blessings. Namaste.